Good morning everyone, this is Shayla. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am going to start decorating this um, this uh, journal that I created in the tutorial. And um, I will link the other three videos um, down below how I created this journal. And I said that I was going to uh, do some uh, journal pages with you to sh so you can see my process. I don't know if I'm going to decorate the whole thing on film, but I'm going to show you at least a few ideas. Now, <clears throat> I gathered some things around me, and hopefully I don't have to get up and um, go grab things. Okay, first of all, I use two paper pad, two different paper pads for uh, these and let's see okay so the paper pads that I used was the Anna Griffin beautiful birds paper pad and I believe I got these this one I think I bought this at Tuesday morning and it's really heavy duty paper and there was some pages in it, in it that had birds so I thought that was um, a good paper to use for this and then I also used some a couple pages from this book the Chateau and it's from Craft Smart and I believe I got this at Hobby Lobby and I used just a few pages in here. This is a beautiful paper pad. I love that. So that's that. So I'm going to use scraps that were left over from that kit. And then I also, uh, Lynn, this lady, Lynn, I can't think of her last name at the moment, but I'm in one of the Facebook groups that she is an admin. I'm actually an admin myself now. But she asked me to join her design team and I chose the uh, handwritten ephemera kit and her Etsy is Paper Life by Lynn and I already used it in my other journal and I figured this time I'll use it here. And I printed it out on papers that were already coffee dyed. I'll show you the back sides of these so this is copy paper and I coffee dyed it and this is two of the documents here this I believe I don't think this is copy paper it might be I don't know but it's coffee dyed you can see and this is how nice the images came out look at this this is that typewriting paper and I love how the images came out. This is stationary paper. The, um, I guess the more expensive typewriting paper. Look how nice. I just love. I just love these images and how they came out in the coffee dyed paper. So, I will be using those throughout this journal. Um, I'm going to use them for tags or uh, a background maybe. I'm not sure. It, it depends on how we go. Here's the scrap pieces of paper I may use for tags and whatever else I think of. Um, I pulled this pad out here. Uh, Artsy, um, from, it's cardstock, and I believe I got this at Hobby Lobby, and I like this paper to add to the tags, like in on the back of tags for um, a journal area, and I really like the look of that, so I might use some of that. Um, with that paper, with the bird theme. I may also incorporate, these are uh, uh, postcards, I mean, 
um, from 2005, these uh, greeting cards. So I may take a few of these and make tags. So I have those. Um, I have a few pieces of trim that I thought would match. What else did I gather? Some gold buttons because there's uh, gilded gold on the cover. So I grabbed some of that. I just got this um, nice lace. I think I got this at um, Michael's when it was on sale. I might use some of that. Then I have this lovely trim trims that someone gifted to me and I'm, I'll probably use some of those as accent pieces and I have a bucket of flowers all different flowers and things like that so I think I have enough right now to start if I have to pause and get up and grab something as I go uh, that's fine okay so right now I'm not going to do anything to this cover. I might just leave it as it is. If I do anything, I might add some gems to the flowers somewhere, you know. But I'm not sure if I'm going to do much because I don't want to take away from this image. I mean, it's beautiful. And I haven't added closures to this yet because huh, I forgot to add them, the eyelids. But I may do that later um yeah so anyway so i'm not going to do anything to the cover right now so i'm going to open up and i'm going to work on these two pages first this is the pocket and i'm going to decorate a little bit down here and i might use one of those images to as a background and we'll see what we do there okay so, I just want to grab one other thing. Um, oops. I grabbed my box right here, the shoe box with Tim Holtz um, things. There's flowers and things in here. I'll just keep that aside just in case I want to use something in there. Okay, so I want to, first I want to decorate this pocket here. So, let's see. Let's see what do I want to do. I also have some of this bandage that aged. I might use some of that for like the first lay down. So, <clears throat> while doing this, you know, have your scissors, your glue, whatever you like to work with. Does this come apart again? Yep. Alright, so I'm just going to randomly lay that down. So I'm going to take some glue and I use tacky glue. I also use some of this fabric fix. This is good also and then I sometimes use the art glitter glue because this is also good so it depends all right so I'm just gonna put a little glue down and then I'm just gonna take these and just randomly place them down and I sometimes like pieces of it to hang below. And I think I'm going to go in here. I have this. Ooh, this is pretty. I might cut a piece off. I don't know if I want to use that yet. Um, what do I want to do? Pew Jill. I think I'm going to use a piece of this. I have this. So I think I'm going to cut. This I got um, at the Dollar Tree. 
Okay, I think I'm going to glue that down. This is, uh, what do you call it? Like, um, firm, firm, thick, uh, felt. It's really heavy duty. So I'm just going to put that down. And you know, I'm looking at this bird. Yeah, I think I'm going to fussy cut this bird out. see how that's going to look. I'm just going to go around and leave a little border, a white border, or just a tiny bit of a border around it. And I might even use some of these flowers. Looks like we're gonna finally have a nice day today. I hope I can get in a walk. I gotta really stop walking again. So I'm hoping that I can go for a walk today. sure if I want that. Now I'm not sure that I want that. I don't think I do. Let's see. Add some. Let's see what. Age it up with some ink and then Like it or do I not like it? I don't think I like it. I might save that for something else. I didn't like it. Nope. Okay, let's see. Um, I have some little scrap pieces of paper. I like to do layers. I'm starting to get more and more into layering. something like that. I'm going to take this coffee dyed flour. Glue that down. have to be quite in the middle. Okay. And I'm gonna grab I have these uh gold gems here. I think I'm gonna put that 
in the middle, but before I do that, I'll take a piece of burlap. down first. It took me, I've been doing stuff like this for almost two years now and I never used to layer pages and things and I always thought maybe, eh, maybe it's gonna look not so nice but now I've been doing it and I love the effects of layering. So I do it more and more now. But when you're just starting out, you know, you, it, it, the more you do, the better you get. The more you see other people's work, you get ideas from them. And if you take an idea from someone, I would hope that you um, acknowledge that person because it's happened to me a couple times someone used something of my mine and didn't say, oh, you know, this, this technique or whatever came from so-and-so. And I don't think that's, that's not cool at all, you know? I think I'm gonna put that there, but I want to do something else. What else can I put there? You know, I don't think it's it's right if you're using somebody's idea. You know what I mean? And you don't give them recognition for it. In my book, it's not cool at all. No. Okay, you're gonna glue there. Oops. Just got a couple of these flat buttons. Trying to hear that down. Doesn't seem like it wants to stick. So I'm going to use some of this. Some of this glue. Because that didn't seem like it wanted to stick. Alright, I got these two gold buttons. But before, I want to see if I can put some of this... that in, tie a knot. Oops. My fingers don't want to cooperate today. Okay. Cut that off. Do the same to the other one. Oops, come on. Trim this one also. Okay, so I'm going to use this. I think I'm going to put one right here. Now, this goes good for stuff like this. Put that 
there. And I have any small ones and those are all one size, huh? Alright. Okay, I think I'm gonna put that over there. Okay, so now I'm going to lay this aside so it can dry and I'm going to make some, some tags for the pocket. I'm not going to fill the pocket all the way. I'm just going to use... Um, some of these, and I'm, I'm like I said, I'm, I'm not gonna fill the pockets all the way. Just doing a few, so you can just get an idea. Now I bought this set, and I hope I remember to leave the um. There we are, we are memory tear guy of tear rulers, and uh, I got these on Amazon. My favorite so far is this. This ridge right here is my favorite. I will try to remember to link that below where I got those. I ordered them on Amazon. So what you do with this ruler, you lay it down on your page where you want the tear. And then you just gently tear it. So then you got a nice little ridge like this. But, um... I love the look of it. So I'm just tearing off some of the paper. That's one. I think I'll do one more. I like to do is paint the edges. Now, if I wasn't going to put like a background, like glue this down to cardstock, I would ink around here and probably put a stamp image. But I, this, these two, I'm going to add some cardstock the back. Alright, so, and I think I'm going to use some craft cardstock. Now you could glue it, use some double-sided tape. When I do, sometimes when I do tags, oops, I will use my double-sided tape. This what had some water damage from I don't know how my stuff got wet when we were moving. I don't know what happened, but there was some water damage. But I said, oh well, I'll keep it because that just adds to the texture of whatever I decide to use it for. And when you do junk journals and things, it doesn't matter how old something looks because the older the better. Alright, so now I'm going to get my paper cut out. This is our Fisca, Fisca's paper cutter. I got this on Amazon and it has a self sharpening blade which I like. 
All right, so now I'm just going to cut some of the excess. There's one. And now on this one, I think I'm going to leave it a little longer because I'm going to think I'm going to do an eyelet. This aside. I'm going to take this punch board and I'm going to punch the corners. So there's like a tab at the top of this one. Just like that. Now I can, if I felt, I think I'm going to round the edges on this. Well, I'll tell you in a minute what I was thinking. So, on the back, I can add uh, some paper so you can journal, or I can leave it like this and they can journal. But I think I want to add some paper. Or, let's see, I have some scraps over here. Okay. So, for this one, I'm going to measure. Now measuring from the bottom of the tag up to where this little corner right here and see it's about it's a little less than eight inches so what I'm going to do I'm going to do seven and a half excuse me by three on this one so eleven and a half by Three. I don't think that's what this is going to be. Eleven and a half. Yeah, okay, I'm thinking seven and a half. Eleven and a half. I'm like, what? So, on this one, I'm just going to cut off this top. Piece. I want, what did I say it was? Three. Right? Yeah, three by seven and a half. Okay, and then this one, I need a piece that is four by six and a half. Six and a quarter. Four by six and a quarter. Six and a quarter. I screwed that piece up. Let me get this. This off. They say I need four. Oh, no. By six and a quarter. going to round the corners not that one <coughs> hmm. all right before I do anything I want to grab some of my stamps and weird So, before I do anything, I want to ink. ink around here. Ink the front, make sure it's...
I, I, I gotta do that eyelet thing too, but one thing at a time. Okay, now I'm gonna ink around the edges on this. My arms are so sore today. Fibromyalgia stinks. I tell you. Just doing that, my arms are hurting. So now I'm just going to attach that with some double sided tape. So, at the top here, put a punch. And then I'm going to take this lovely thing. I love this thing. And, hmm. So two eyelets, reinforces, whatever they're called, and put some glue. I used to buy the white eye uh, hole enforcers at the dollar store and, and color them in with markers. Then I discovered this punch, and that's a We Are Memory Keeper thing also, and I love it. And I just ordered another one. I don't think it's from We Are Memories, but it has this type of hole punch and then a, an octagon shape. That's going to be cool. All right, so now I'm going to take some, let's see, do I want burlap? A piece of this burlap twine. Do they call it twine? Where's the end? I don't know. Where's my scissors? Hello? Hello, oh, hey there. Put that. Oops. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, that out. I'm going to take a couple of stamps. The first one is this typewriting stamp and I think I got this at Hobby Lobby when they had their sale last year. I love this stamp, one of my favorites. Okay, I should see if I have any. Oh, I do have some. I do have, a, I just saw two birds in a nest right there. So on this one, I think my ink on this pad is just about out. Do you know this color box espresso is so hard to get? Even at the stores, I don't know why it seems like it's so hard to get lately. Can't find it at the store, I have to order it online. Then they only have a few. And I would buy more than one if they had it. And I always like to clean my stamps off. 
and I don't know, I mention every time I use these wipes, pure and gentle, you get these at Walmart. I like them because they clean and they don't leave any sudsy residue like others. Okay. Alright, put that aside. Now, I think the, yeah, they are, oops, these are from Tim Holtz. These stamps here, I got these. They were on sale. So I think I'm going to use this bird one and do, I still have my block out here. I don't know. I don't know where my block is. Give me one second. Do I have it out here or not? I don't think I do. I think I put it back. I don't know where my smaller block is, but whatever. I gotta get some more of these blocks. Yep, this ink is just about gone. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one. Not too bad. Where did I put my paper towels? Paper towels. the stamps. I'm lost. Oh, there they are. <laughs> uh, I just tell you. Alright. Okay, so now what I want to do take a piece of this. Look how pretty that is, huh? I'm trying to incorporate this trim here and there and everything I do trying to spread it out so I think I'm gonna put a piece of that but first I want this bandage is colored uh, by itself this one is actually I got at a at um, a thrift shop and it's older because it's a different color. I tried to get this color, but I can't find it. Um, what is that? This is what, if you buy the bandage today, this is what it looks like. But this one was this color. So I don't know if it came this color or it aged. I, I don't know. It might have came this color. I'm not sure. But whatever. I love it just the same. can always coffee dye it if I really wanted to so I'm just going to put a piece of that then I think I'm going to add this on top like that and I think I'm going to use this the fabric stuff for this because it just adheres better just gonna lay that down like that. I bought a whole bottle of that fabric tack stuff and then we moved. And to this day I still haven't found it. I don't know if it got lost or what happened to it, but I lost it somewhere. Oops. Make sure you clean your tips off. 
because otherwise you'll have a problem. I like to wipe it down. All right, so now I'm going to take a couple of these flowers. These flowers I bought at um, Michael's the other day. I keep saying I'm not going to buy, I'm not going to buy. And I end up buying. I wish, wait, I think I have smaller ones. These, these are too big. These ones, I think I got at Hobby Lobby. I think I'm going to use a couple of these lighter ones. I think I got two there. No. Nope. And I'm just gonna age them a little. And I might do one other thing. You see this they come with this like this little tiny ball in the middle. I'm gonna take that off. And I'll tell you why in a moment. Gotta be careful because you can tear your flower. Okay, I'm going to glue these down first. Right there. And what I'm going to do... Okay, where did I put those? I knew I'd be getting up during this, but can't be up. So, my gems. I'm going to find two small gold ones if I can. I got these at Michael's. They're like $10 for a big thing of them, but if you use your coupon, they're a lot cheaper. So I got two gold gems. That I'm going to put in the center of each flower. There we go. And mm -mm. all right, so that's what that one looks like. Than that. I'm not going to do, oh, excuse me, anything to this side. <gasps> but once these dry, I'll add them to the pocket. And excuse me again. So I'm going to lay those two things aside and we're going to bring this back. Now, for here, what do I want to do? Um, I think I'm going to do like a, um, just like, I don't know, Ooh. maybe make a band. And if I do that, I'm going to trim off, I'm going to fold this down. And I'm going to try to round the corner a little bit. I think that was too much. Dang it. Dang it. Let's see. Now, get that idea. <gasps> Let's see, what else could I put there? I don't have a true glue. Wait a minute, what's this? Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at this. So 
So you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this blue. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pause for a moment. I'm going to go get a lighter and I'm going to see if I can melt the sides of these so that they don't come pull apart anymore. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. So I just took my light and ran it real quick down each side. And that should keep that from fraying. And I think I want to, like, create, like, a little tuck spot here. But before that, do I want to add anything else? Like a piece of burlap. Yeah, I think I want to do that, right? Piece of burlap behind that. Maybe I'm going to go sew this. Yeah, I think I'm going to go to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew all the way around here. And I'll be right back. Alright, so... I went to my sewing machine. I'll show you from this side because you probably can see it better. And I sewed all around it. Now I'm going to glue. I think I'm just going to glue this side and this side down. So make this a little tuck spot. And again, I'm going to use this fabric glue. Making sure I'm putting enough on. Place it down. And then, you know, once this glues, there's a nice little tuck spot there. And now, can you see these bigger flowers they have? I think I'm going to add some gems to that. But I'm not going to do too much more to that pocket. Because it's pretty. And I don't want to take away from that. Sometimes less is more. So, let's see. I think I need three of those. I'm going to run out of these small fold things soon. I need one more. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to put some glue on each flower. Come in. My fingers sometimes. Hands, I should say. This just gives this a, like a two-dimensional look. I don't know if I have any birds like to for 3D stickers. Um oh wait, I had something like this. Frogs. I'm checking my stash. I have, this is awesome, I have these here, I got these, they're puffy stickers, I got these at the Dollar Tree, so I have to 
because this is a bird journal. I forgot I had these. Alright. So, let's see. I might even want to add like a bird to this journal. Mm -hmm. To that page. Okay. I like this one here. Do I want to do it there? I want to put this here, but not without putting something under it for it to pop. So, I'm going to take a piece of this white bandage. I actually think I'm going to use this. down here put this down and then these are very sticky so there I don't know can you really see that all right okay so let me wipe this off All right, so now those two tags should be dry enough, hopefully. So this big one can go in first, and it's going to stick out a little bit, but that's okay. And then this one, put in the second slot like that. All right, and then you have more room for other ephemera. And let's see, I think this video is long enough. Um, next time we'll make a couple tags for here and maybe decorate this side. But for now, I think we are done. And I hope you enjoyed this little journal with me. And any questions or comments, please feel free to add them below. Oops. That's the only thing. Um, come on. Add them below and I'll get back to you. Maybe I'm going to turn them the other way. <laughs> I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I will have the link down below for the other videos. And I will have the link down below for Lens Shop. If you want to get this really nice written uh, document. I think they're they're awesome. And this is the second time I am using them because I like them that much, and I love how they came out on the coffee dyed paper. All right. So with that said, you have a wonderful day. Please subscribe to my channel. Please like this channel. Please share my videos if you think your friends would like my um, channel. And as always, you have a wonderful day, and thank you for watching.